Hi guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another luxury fashion video for you guys and I am super excited. I love doing these videos because typically that meant I went shopping, but then I hate doing them because that means I spent an absurd amount of money on something I probably shouldn't have, but it's okay, it's totally fine. <laughs> so as you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be my review on these Gucci shoes that I brought. I brought them at the end of May in the Gucci store in Soho and I wanted them so bad and I was super excited to share them with you and let you know my whole thoughts. I've worn them a bunch of times, so this is going to be a full review. So before we begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video, and let's go ahead and get started. So uh, this is the box the shoes came in. It's super pretty. I love this green, and it's like kind of like Victorian print to it. It's super pretty. Definitely don't ever plan on throwing this box out, but I never really throw out any of my luxury boxes I just feel like I spent money for this whole thing I'm gonna keep the whole thing so inside the bag you're going to find two dust bags they kind of like look like what is that material called it's not like a silky material like the typical Gucci things come in it's like um I don't know what it's called I just had a breakfast but you guys like you can look at it and kind of know what I'm talking about right can you can you okay so let me show you the shoes here are the shoes let me take this tissue out it's very fancy tissue i can tell this tissue don't feel like normal tissue but here is the shoes so this is the women's slide sandal with gucci logo in transparent rubber so literally what it is is like a jelly sandal so if you guys are into the like y2k era you know what i'm saying early 2000 vibes and you know that jelly sandals was really a thing and then they kind of came back when American Apparel was popping. I was actually working there. Hello. Yes, American Apparel gang. Hey, hey, gang. Um, I worked at American Apparel for like two years, two and a half years, and Jelly Sandals was definitely a huge thing at the moment. We sold them. We sold them in a heel form as well as the flat form, and because it was a job where you had to wear a head to toe American Apparel, it was definitely part of our uniform, so I wore them all the time. I had them in black, and I had them in clear. So when I saw these, they originally came out in like just a pink, a yellow, I think a blue color maybe, and then I saw that they expanded to a whole bunch of different colors, red, another type of blue, like a transparent blue, and then I saw these clear ones, and I was like, I must have them because they just remind me of like a luxury grown up version of my childhood. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like it literally makes me feel like a kid again, but a kid with a little bit of coin. <laughs> so I am obsessed. Like I'm just gonna let you guys know I am obsessed with this shoe. So let me let y'all know like the specs and everything. These shoes are $360, which in my opinion, in my opinion is not bad okay because you gotta think about it it's gucci so it's like it's not bad 360 dollars is probably the cheapest gucci shoe you'll ever get but then if you think about it it's like all right you're paying 360 dollars for rubber uh like a plastic shoe basically you know so it's like uh, it depends on how you look at it but i don't think that's too bad they are still very much in stock by the way you can get monthly payments on Gucci, what the hell? So, like I said before, the color is transparent rubber, it's a woman's shoe, it has the embossed Gucci logo, it has a rubber sole, a 2.4 inch heel with a 0.8 inch platform, as you guys can see right here. So pretty much my thought process of buying these shoes was, they go with everything. I've worn them with jeans, I've worn them with the dress pants, you can wear them with a dress, you can wear them with a skirt. Literally, you can wear them with anything. I also, when back in my American Apparel days, I used to love wearing my jelly sandals with socks I think it's so cute and that is definitely something you could do with these it's a little bit different it's a little bit edgy if you are that girl go for it I think it's super cute like wear like some really cute socks with like a skirt like a silky skirt and then, oh girl you will be giving the girls the business okay I think that is adorable that is such an aesthetic so yeah that was my whole idea of getting it. I wanted a sandal that I can literally wear with anything right and so when I saw these I thought they were perfect and the fact that they are transparent they're literally clear there is nothing in this world that doesn't go with it like it matches everything right because it's completely clear so that's why I thought this would be a great investment now it's Let's talk about sizing. I am a US eight and a half, okay? I am a true eight and a half. Most of my sneakers are eight and a half. Most of my shoes are an eight and a half. When it comes to luxury shoes, so my Balenciagas, those are a 39. So Italian brands typically do not come in half sizes, so I don't have like a 38 and a half. Those are a 39. When it comes to my YSL espadrilles, because it is an espadrille and I don't want to flip flop out of the shoe, those are a 38. 
I thought I was going to need a 39 in these. When I went to the Gucci store in Soho, they actually did not have a 39 in stock. So I tried on the 39 in the black pair. Now I have really, really skinny feet. Now the 39 could definitely have worked, but she was like, I do have the clear in a 38. Would you like to try it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And the 38 actually fit perfect. So for this type of shoe, because it's like a mule, there's no back support or anything, I like my feet to fit perfect. Like literally like a perfect fit because if not, they literally will flip flop off of my feet. You know what I'm saying? Cause I have really skinny feet. So these actually fit perfect. So I did basically size down. So if you are interested in these and you wear a half size, I would suggest if you have skinny feet to go down. So if you're typically a 40, I would say go with a 39. If you're typically like a 37, go with a 36, whatever the case might be. If you have skinny feet, I feel like that is the best bet. But if you have a Gucci store where you are, go ahead and try them on because that's obviously the safest way to go. And if they don't have them in stock, you can go ahead and order them online. Let's talk about comfort because I know that's really, really important. So comfort, I've worn these in the blazing heat, baby. I've worn them out drinking. They are not uncomfortable as far as like the sole. I never have problems with the bottom of my feet with these at all, my feet never hurt. Obviously the heel is not high, so I can walk in them perfectly fine. The only thing is I have like that, I, I think it's actually called a bunion, which I hate that name. It makes, it just sounds bad. But I have that bone that kind of protrudes off of the side of my foot. Um, like next to my big toe, right? So I think I have to get like surgery. That's what I hear. I don't know. I don't want to be cutting into my foot, child. But apparently I have to get surgery. So that hurts a little piece. I ain't gonna lie. Right on the side, right up in here, in this area, that rubbing against the rubber does hurt a little bit. I am not going to lie to you. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. It is not the most comfortable in the shoe. This is not like, oh my God, stepping in the shoe is like a cloud. No, 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 no. It's not the most comfortable shoe, but it's not the most uncomfortable shoe. It's definitely bearable. I had these on for hours. So my best friend's graduation, I think I had to be there like 2.30 and I had to get a COVID test before. So I literally wore these from like 1 p.m. all the way into like 1 a.m. because we went out. So about like 12 hours in these and I was cool. I was not complaining about my feet at all. Like I was chilling, I wasn't limping, nothing. It was just like right there did hurt a little bit. So I feel like on a scale from one to five, five being the most comfortable, these are like a four. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but it's bearable. As far as heat go and steaming up and stuff, I didn't have that problem. I did watch a bunch of reviews before I purchased them because whenever I purchase anything luxury, I like to watch reviews. It is something pretty pricey. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. So I like to see what, a, what am I getting myself into? And a lot of people say like they had, um, you know, a little steam coming off their feet, you know what I'm saying, a little fogginess. I didn't have that problem. I didn't have that problem at all. Yeah, no, I didn't have that problem at all. I don't remember seeing any type of steam or, or sweat. I feel like my foot kind of like stuck better if my foot was sweating, you know what I'm saying, because of the rubber. It wasn't like slipping and sliding or anything like that. I feel like I was, I was pretty good. As far as cleaning and all that stuff, it is rubber, so it's super easy to clean. I could take like a wet cloth and just wipe down. So you can step in mud accidentally and get these clean. You can be in the rain and get them clean. The only thing is I would probably be careful being in like blazing heat because at the end of the day, like I said before, it is rubber. So heat and rubber doesn't sound like the best uh, combination, you know what I'm saying? So probably keep them out of the, like the blazing heat, but it is super easy to clean if you're just stepping in like, if you stepped in something or whatever, you can definitely get them off with no problem. I will say the bottom of the shoe is a little bit slippery. So just be careful of that stepping anywhere that might be, you know, some slip and slide records, you know, just be really, really careful. I don't want none of y'all busting y'all asses. But yeah, that is honestly pretty much it. I do suggest these shoes. Do I recommend them 100%? I love them. I think they are so cute. They definitely give me like nostalgia. They bring back memories, but like an adult version, like I said before, they're versatile. I can wear them with anything. This is like an easy shoe to throw on and go about your business. I say get them. If you have the money for them, get them. I do even want them in other colors. I think they are so cute and they come in a bunch of colors. And if you are someone who doesn't own any luxury, but you want to start indulging, in it i think this is a great starting place you can get a shoe that's not super expensive you don't have to worry about spending like a thousand or whatever 
on a shoe. It's 360, which I don't think is bad at all. So that is going to conclude my thoughts on these Gucci shoes. I hope they helped you guys out in any way. If you guys want to see the different ways that I've styled this shoe, please make sure you are following me on Instagram. I've worn them a couple of times, so I do have some photos on there. And of course, when I drop this video, there's going to be a new picture too, so you guys can see how I styled them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.